Hey, everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Jace. We're going to watch Yu Gi Oh! Bridged. Episode 19. What's it called? It is called Jog Shamesh. Jag Shamesh? That sounds like something you say and then you take the like the audio of you saying it and you play it backwards and it says something. Jag Shamesh? I don't know. Jag Shamesh. This, this is the episode. Jag Shamesh. Jag Shamesh. No idea. It sounds like something you say when you're like having a, like having a stroke. It's like, hey, like, like a concussion. Like, hey, can you count to five for me? One, two, Jagshamish, <laughs> four. Yeah, I don't five. think you can. I don't think you can uh, act out a stroke very well. No. So, this is just the... remember, farm. What? Farm, 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 farm. What's that from? How I Met Your Mother. I don't remember that. Uh, so this Robin is... was in the helicopter with the pilot. <laughs> this is the episode where they after Yugi duels Pegasus and they go up and they read that shit about Pegasus's wife and why he did all this, and then and then uh, the, the one dude showed up and then Yugi takes a uh, Psych- my, psychedelic a, psych- a psych- psychedelic trip or and a, then, su- a soul a spirit trip. Uh, he goes to the spirit world. <laughs> who's that guy who shows up? I don't even remember him. The keeper of the uh, Millennium Key. Yeah, he had the key. What was he? What was he? He just shows up and he's then he's a guardian or something. I can't. I can't was, remember was his a, name. Was he a ghost? No, he was real. All right, he was real. All right, um, let's watch it. I don't know what to expect. Let's get off this island. I'm sick of it. Yu-Gi-Oh is filmed on location with the men and women of the Domino City Police Department. What? I can't believe I failed. All I wanted to do was steal an ancient Egyptian artifact, seize control of a billion dollar company, and resurrect my dead wife. And I would have gotten away with it too, if it weren't for those meddling men. Don't you even oh. think about making a Scooby-Doo reference? What do you Cora. want, Bakora? Can't you see I'm feeling distinctly unfabulous? I want your Millennium Eye, so I'm challenging you to a shadow game. But I don't have any cards. Cards? Where we're dueling, we, we don't, don't need, need cards. cards. We're going to do battle with ancient Egyptian laser beams. Wait, what? This happened? Why do I not remember this? I remember this. <laughs> the music. Hey, Pegasus, remember how I said I was going to kill you last? That's right, Bakura. You did. I lied. No, oh my God. don't take my Millennium Eye. Schwarzenegger movie so reference. Well with my outfit. Ah, oh! oh! The wrong eyeball, you fool. Oh, sorry. That's much better. <laughs> Sticks it back in. Oh, the sound just... <laughs> that's literally the... No, dude, that's the wrong eye. Okay, what happened to Pegasus? Mr. Pegasus is feeling under the weather. <laughs> he looks kind of dead. Well, he's not. Now, excuse me, I have to go sandpaper in my throat. What happened, I can't believe what happened to his eye? Pegasus is dead. <clears throat> he died as he lived, draped in the arms of another man. Let's go snoop through his things. Man, that is look, one look, girl I'd they like They looked at the diary like, holy shit, he was straight? If I play card games, I mean have sex. Pretty. Fuck's sake, Joey. Look, it's Pegasus's blog. Reading this should allow blog. writers to fill in a bunch of plot holes. January 12th. Mood fabulous. Darling Cecilia, I still remember, remember the, the first, first day, day we met. You were the second most beautiful person Aww. I'd ever laid eyes on. The first was me, of course. We <laughs> fell in love Vanity. instantly and decided to get married. Then, when we were standing at the altar, something very unexpected happened. You exploded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was kind of weird. <laughs> huh? That was like a weird Egypt. representation of like her getting sick and dying, I think. They go to Egypt. Little did I know, my destiny was waiting for me right around the corner. Oh, this guy. Oh my god. That's kind of, that's very offensive. No longer you slave to build pyramid. Now we make women do it instead. Oh. Guys, if you come oh my god, he's Borat. I you why I hang donuts from my ears. <laughs> this is pretty big. This is pretty big. With ancient artifacts. Jewish peoples are always trying to come in oh, here yeah. and steal my millennium Jewish items. Jewish people. Since you are not Jew, 
I'll let you have this one. It will grant you the power to see into people's minds. It's nice. The Millennium Eye gave me the power to see into the world beyond. At long last, I was reunited with you, my love. I thought my dreams had finally Aww. come true, but then you exploded again. <laughs> <laughs> really need to stop doing that. It it says sound here, effect this he's is putting in. a way to bring Cecilia back from the dead using the Millennium Items and Kyber Corp's virtual technology. Man, I've read fanfics that made more sense than this crap. Wow. Look, Pegasus must have released Grandpa's soul. This is super special awesome. Would you stop saying super special awesome? It stopped being funny 15 episodes ago. Oh, um. you did not just say that. Get back here. Nobody disses my catchphrase. Huh? What the hell's going on? There has been a great disturbance. Someone has stolen a Millennium item. It was probably this little Jew boy. Or he my wife. His horns underneath all that hair. I will use my Millennium key to probe his mind. <laughs> Just give me a minute. <laughs> The Jew's mind has been divided into two separate chambers. One looks like it belongs to a little boy. A very untidy little boy. If he lived in my homeland of Egypt, he would be stoned to death for his insolence. This other room is very mysterious. It gives me funny feelings in my cram. Who the devil are you supposed to be? Yag Jamash. My name is Shai. <laughs> oh, he I'm said Yag Jamash. I execute those who would steal my millennium items. Um, okay. I like you. Do you like me? No. Look, I didn't steal anything. But if it'll set your mind at ease, then have a look around. By the way, have you ever seen Labyrinth? No. Why? No reason. For someone who has to guard the Millennium items, he has very little understanding of how they work. Isn't he in the Millennium Don't Puzzle? Worry, Isn't that what this you? is? Yep. This little boy has saved me. Perhaps he is not as Jewish as I had first suspected. What you keep using that word. I don't think it means what you ago, think it means. <laughs> Egyptian kings played a game of great and terrible power. These shadow games were played with real monsters and real magic. But these games erupted into a war that threatened to destroy the world. And so all the monsters were locked away inside these stone tablets. Are you trying to tell me this show actually has a plot? Oh no, <laughs> you have angered the dark magician. Our only hope is to summon the blue Eyes white dragon. No, don't. Why not? That's Kaiba's monster. I'm not gonna let myself get saved by that. Dark magician, you are not a gun. You are who you choose to be. Now choose. Wa wa we wa. This little <laughs> boy and his obscure movie reference has saved us both. He must be the one the prophecy spoke of. I apologize for screwing with your head. It turns out that you are the chosen one. Now I must return to Egypt, even though I have not found the one who stole my item. Remember, the fate of the world rests on your tiny little shoulders. Jinkui. Mokuba, can you hear me? Wake up. Uh, who the hell are you? Are you the angel of death? Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Mokuba thinks he's dead. Yugi Moto, you are now officially king of card games. As winner of the Duelist Kingdom tournament, I bestow upon you this extremely girly card. <laughs> also, here's three million dollars. Yoink! Now you can pay for your sister's operation. Screw my sister, I have money. <sighs> you each have five minutes to get off the island before we release the hounds. Big brother, where are you? I'm starting to develop abandonment issues. Oh, face it, kid. Kaiba never loved you uh, Seto it's you and you're smiling oh uh, it's very unsettling uh, right it's yeah smiling big brother it's <clears throat> really creepy Kaiba smiling that's the most disturbing thing I've ever seen whenever Kaiba smiles a puppy dies Yugi because of the circumstances our last duel was not conclusive perhaps the next time we duel we will finally learn which of us is truly superior in case you hadn't noticed I'm the king of card games and besides Damn. I already beat you in the first episode what's your Damn. point my point is you're never going to Fuck beat you for me, being so with you so yeah. get over it I hate you so much 
Come on, Mokuba. We're going to have our own tournament with Blackjack and hookers. In fact, forget the tournament. Well done, you. <laughs> we saved the world. And more importantly, we rubbed it in Kaiba's face. Yeah, by the <clears> way, <throat> who the hell are you? I have had many names. Once I was known as Pharaoh. Then I was known as the artist formerly known as Pharaoh. But you can call me Yami. I thought your name was a te- Shh, don't spoil it now. Shh. I just realized- Who wasn't supposed to know his name yet? Yeah. No. We have to go well, back to school. No! Magic dance. Magic dance! I don't understand why I'm dancing to that. Time! <laughs> 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 he froze. Oh, wait, play it, play it, there's more. Quick, someone fetch a bedpan. Ugh. Oh, too late. <laughs> These fucking videos, dude. Uh. Oh my god, <laughs> that was an incredibly offensive voice for, for um, what is his name, Shoddy? Shoddy, that is his name. Yeah, my name is Shoddy. Oh my god. Uh, my wife, she died. High five. It's just, it's just doing a Borat voice. Mm. It's just. Doing... I don't know what Borat is. It's like some stupid movie. <sighs> Oh, goodness gracious. Mm. Why, why I hang donuts from my ears. That's horrible. And then you exploded. You must really stop doing that. I always <laughs> thought it was weird. I remember thinking, now now that I'm looking back on it, I was like, that was fucking weird. Why'd she explode? Because I was a kid. I was like, oh, where did she go? It was a weird way of symbolizing the fact that she died. And the laser beams. Mm. That actually happened. I remember it. It did actually happen. Ancient Egyptian laser beams. Mm. He played like this. It sounded like this. The Star Wars like Phantom Menace fighting music. I'm pretty sure it Dun wasn't. Is. It kind of sounded like it. Dun dun. Oh yeah, he's like now I'm going. Dun to, dun. He's like now I'm going to take your eye. Oh, that was the wrong one. Whoops. Oh. Hang on. All right, let's get the right one. Ugh. That's so horrible, right? That's legitimately the noise that he's Dude, making. Dude, I'm picturing an eye popping out with that sound effect, and it's just... Ugh, ugh, ugh. 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 And then he holds on... Bakura holds on to that eye for, like, 150 episodes, I think. Or, like, at least I, at least 100. Because I remember he gives it to Kaiba in, like, the final act of the show. The final, like, arc of the show. Oof. Yeah, when they have a duel, and he's like, Oh, wait, I gotta split. Bye. <laughs> that was... A Man, that was one episode that he stretched into. I mean, usually when he he pulls one episode out, it's like, it's like five minutes. They're getting longer. He, lot, was, he had a lot minutes. of stuff he could have made fun of. He did, and he made fun of a lot, and then most of it was just stereotypes for for. for I still shoddy. I still on Jagshamesh. What is that from though? I don't, I don't know. I don't. The I Jews. Never, I, I never watched Borat. Jagshamesh. I don't know. Uh, okay. Anything else to say? By the way, that thing I was talking about, Exodia, we, before we started recording tonight, we were du we actually had a duel, and he got all five pieces of Exodia, and I didn't even know he had that in his deck until he had all five pieces in his hand. I actually flipped the table we were dueling on. He got so mad. He obliterated me, and then he mind crushed me. So we and then now it's like the weird, like. We just gotta get through the weird, like, in between parts of this uh, the show that, like, all the stuff that happened between Duelist Kingdom and Battle City. Yeah, we got uh, Rebecca. We got virtual. We got uh, virtual the world. Virtual reality. Yeah. Dungeon we Dice got... Monsters. I'm I'm kind of interested to see that one. I want to see Dungeon Dice Monsters. I, I know he's gonna. How long? I see that episode right there. How long is it? Seven minutes. All right, he can do a lot of work in seven minutes. I, and I feel like he's gonna make fun of it so hard. So much. Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. I'm Jace. I'm Josh. And we'll see you guys in the next one.